Hello everybody, this is Rick with Stumped, and you can tell that my voice sounds a little funny. I've got laryngitis. Uh, that's why we had to postpone this video one day, because yesterday I had absolutely no voice. But today I've got a bit of a voice, and that's good enough to play today, because I've been really itching to play this war of mine, you guys. I'm having a lot of fun, despite the fact that, if you'd watched last episode, we learned that Pavel died. There it is. Got shot by a psycho in a hotel. Um... Uh, not much I could have done. This time he died and I wasn't really looking for trouble. Trouble just found me. Uh, so this is going to definitely affect Katya and Bruno. Bruno's sad and Katya is just plain old depressed. Uh, we got to make sure we get these, these uh, two in better spirits. Depression can really start to affect our team and they will try to kill themselves uh, if it gets too bad. Now, just so you guys know, uh, I have read all of your comments, and I do realize that I wasn't traded with Katya last time. That was dumb on my part, but I will make sure to use Katya to trade this time. So if Franco shows up today, we'll wake Katya up and have her make the trades. Alright, we need to get, it looks like, a filter for this water. Get some water here. Things are going to be a little bit tougher for us now because... We've only got two people to play. There we go. We've got the supplies to make that filter. That's good. Katya is very hungry, so we're going to see if we can't try to scrounge up some food and feed her. Worst comes to worst, she'll eat raw food. It's been so long since I've had a cigarette. I need to get some smokes for this man. He eat his disgusting habit. All right, there we go. Let's make that water. I should sleep off last night. That's good advice. Get that water started and then go have a sleep there, buddy. And it looks like there's a child at the door. Two children at the door. Oh, maybe if we do something good for these children, it will help uh, shake this depression that Katya's got. Let's send Katya to go talk to them. Maybe all they need is some supplies, but I have a feeling that they'll want me to go with them. Uh, they need two canned foods. Um, I'm sorry, children. Maybe later. I don't have canned food right now. They didn't say no. We did not say no. If I get two canned foods, I will give them up to you guys. Got to try to do some good things in this game. Alright, I'm just going to wait a moment until we get that water that we need. Okay, we've almost got our water prepared now, so let's go ahead and wake Bruno up and go get that water. And Katya can't stop thinking about Bruno. Maybe if she has a seat up there, she'll be able to relax a little bit. All right, grab all that water. Oh wait, I've got the water automatically. Ah, the water automatically populates. That's right. I don't need to go harvest it. Okay, so I've got my water. Now I just need to get some wood to cook. Okay, here we go. Make two wood and make some food here. Oh, look at that. I didn't even know. We can console one another. This is good. Okay. So we're consoling. There we go. Hey, Katya, listen to me. What do you want? Just to remind you that you're not alone here. Go away. Oh, she does not want to hear it. No, I want to make it through and I need your help. Stop crying and pull yourself together. Wow, it's just pretty frank. He's still talking to her. It's gonna go on for a while. 
Okay. Let's make that food. Finish it up. And now feed Katya. Okay, into the night. We're gonna send Katya out and we're gonna have Bruto stand guard. And I did see the comment that said, for God's sake, go back to the first place. So that's where we're going to go. Get all of the goods that I didn't pick up the first time. In my head, I kind of sound like Jesse Ventura. I don't know if you guys are picking that up. Sound like the governator. All right. You're right. There are plenty of things in this house. And knowing that I don't need to be afraid of finding any opposition, I'm just going to go barreling in here. Tons of stuff in here. You guys were not kidding. What do we got under the bed? Bandages. Yes, lots of stuff. Okay. <clears throat> oh, and there's a dead body back here. What's on this dead body? Looks like a soldier, maybe. Check out that body. Yeah, we've got some good shit here. All right, I'm gonna drop some of this sugar because I don't really need it at the moment. Sugar will come in handy for making alcohol later, I do know this, but at the moment, I'm gonna go ahead and ditch the herbs. Whoop, don't wanna ditch my shovel. Um, I'm going to take this and I'm going to take books. That's going to help with our happiness. All right. Just get out of here now. Day eight. Okay. As long as we can keep these two alive, I, I think that we can make it through. Day 30, ceasefire. We're going to do this. Okay, we were raided. And they stole meat and a water. Uh, looks like they weren't very aggressive. That's good. Nothing happened to our friend Bruno. Well, he did get slightly wounded, but it's okay. We do have three bandages. Let's go get you bandaged up and let's feed you guys because you are hungry. All right, Wait, where's the food at? Um, we can make two more bowls of food. Wait. It's all getting too hard, she says, and she walks away. It's all right, Bruno, you're going to pick up the slack and cook. Katya, you're going to go to bed. Made one meal and made two meals. All right. You're going to eat a bowl. Katya, wake up real quick and go eat a bowl. that raw piece there and that should make you a happy camper <clears throat> Katya go eat that food now go get bed because you are a very tired man all right everybody to bed all right it looks like Katya is just sad now not depressed I think that that's uh, probably a good sign. Okay, now here comes Franco. Katya, go answer the door. And trade with this man. I found that jewelry, so hopefully that'll be, that'll be traded. Get some good stuff with that. We got an added bonus because Katya does have that bargaining skill, which everybody was very kind to point out to me. Yes, yes, yes. I will never forget that. Okay, if I give you the gem, what will you give me in return? Um, what do I need? A canned food. 
his children. Uh, he wants more for that. Okay, let's see. What else do we need? We need wood. We don't have much wood. So if I take all of your wood, what do I have to give you in return? Okay, try a little harder. How about some sugar? Sweeten the deal, if you will. Okay, fine. We have a deal, he says. Now, Katya, go to bed. And we'll just wait a little bit. Your stomach's rumbling, and so is Ma Bruno's, but, you know, I don't want to eat that canned food in case those poor children come back. I do want to be able to get them something. Probably should turn the radio on, too, to help them out with their uh, broken spirits. Okay, we're just going to let them sleep. We're going to end the day. Actually, no, let's not end the day. Let's, uh, we're going to build some stuff first, okay? Let's not lose hope. There you go. That's the spirit, Katya. Don't lose hope. I think she's going to be all right. Okay, what are we going to do here? We're going to need to build a heat source soon, I have a feeling. Um, I do want to board up the windows, too. If I do that in the metal workshop, is that right? It's been a few days since I played. I can't remember where I build the boards. Or can I not build any more boards because everything's boarded up already? Okay, that could very well be the case. All right, in any case, let's go ahead and build a heater. And let's build the heater. Um, where can we stick it? Right here. Place that heater. <clears throat> be a bit quicker. We already traded, Franco. Business is done. We need to go home. Go home, Franco. Yeah, temperature's starting to drop. It's not unbearable yet, but you can see that the temperature is starting to go down. 15 degrees. Uh, when we started the game, it was 22, 23 degrees. So it's definitely getting colder. And I know that snow will come eventually. We need to be prepared. Uh, looks like I do need a fuel source for this. Let's close this door first off. I'm gonna want that door closed. And let's make some fuel. I got plenty of wood from Franco just a moment ago, so we should have enough to make fuel. There we go. Let's go ahead and make four fuel. And then we'll put Katya to bed and call it a day. Yes, I know you're hungry, Katya, but you know. We have to ration food. We are at war. I'm trying to do my best here. And there we go. Go to bed. End the day. We're going to send Kati out again. We're going to keep Bruno at home, keeping guard. That's the way this is going to go. Now, I could go back to the Shell Cottage and pick up the last of the stuff there, but I feel like... Um, Maybe we should revisit a place that we've been already. Go to the garage. Bring a shovel. Nope, let's leave the shovel. Oh, that's right. We had the crowbar with... Oh, shit. Pavel had the crowbar and lost it. Okay. We're gonna just go out unarmed. We need to leave that shovel just in case Bruno gets raided. I don't want him to be empty-handed. Okay, grab it all. Go upstairs now. What do we have upstairs in the file cabinet? We've got electrical part. Okay. Downstairs now, if you please. Let's get up here. Oh, that's right. This guy needs meds. I should have brought some. But I had forgotten. Uh, sorry, dude. We'll bring some meds for you next time. There is some good stuff here, though. Lots of components, lots of wood. Pretty good stuff. Okay. Last part we'll check right here. So it would be in our best interest to come back here with some med and a hacksaw. So... 
Let's go ahead and run to the exit and see if we can't do that tomorrow. Meds and a hacksaw. I don't think I have any meds, but maybe Franco will show up tomorrow and we'll be able to trade for some. Katya's back. Okay. Fingers crossed for a calm night as we move into day nine. Katya seems like she feels pretty good about her night last night. Calm night. Fantastic. That's the good news we need. Katya, why don't you go get some sleep? Bruno, you're very tired too, but turn on the radio first, huh? Coffee's becoming less and less available, they say. Keep that in mind for trading. And that music, I don't want to listen to depressing news. There we go. There's that dark music that we love. Let's go get some sleep. And I'll go ahead and speed this up because you guys don't want to watch these guys sleep for five hours. Okay, and someone is at the door. Oh, that is not Franco. Let's go see what they want. Looks like an older gentleman. Katya is still very tired. She'll need to go back to sleep after this. Let's just see what this gentleman wants. What would you like, sir? Yes, we do need an extra pair of hands, as a matter of fact. Welcome aboard, Anton. The more, the merrier. Anton. All right. This will allow one of us to sleep tonight, which is a good thing. Anton is slightly wounded, but he's a good mathematician. Uh, maybe that means that he's a good builder. Let's get him fixed up. We'll let these two sleep and see if he can't build us something awesome. Yeah, now that should heal, okay? Now, I think if we upgrade the workbench, we'll be able to hopefully build a hacksaw. But, let's see. Upgrade, there we go. Upgrade. Oh my god, I am one component short of upgrading this goddamn bench. That is garbage. That does not make me happy. Okay, can we build anything else that's of use at the moment? Um, build an upgraded chair. We can build... Can't build a guitar. Uh, a moonshine still, huh? With a bit of patience and water sugar, we can make a foul tasting of booze. I hear that this goes a long way to making our survivors happy. So I'm going to go ahead and make this. And we're going to build some moonshine. Build some moonshine. Make some moonshine. Okay, we'll let our new friend Anton go ahead and make that still. And then we'll call it a day. We will, before we call it a day though, we will make one more filter if we've got the parts and get some water because we will need water and sugar to make this booze. So let's go ahead, Anton, and see about making one more filter for us before we end the day. Yes, we do have what it takes. No, where are you going? Filter, man. Keep your eye on the prize. There you go. And we're just about there. Beautiful. Our man Bruno is really fiending for a smoke. Why don't you go have a seat and read a book there, Bruno? Get your mind off things. Let's make that water. Life-sustaining water. So perhaps we boarded up everything that needs boarding, and that's why I couldn't build the board up. That's what I'm hoping, at least. Okay, everybody's had enough sleep. We have two hungry people, but you know our new rule. We don't feed them until they're very hungry. So we're going to go ahead and 
let them do their thing. Why is this not working? It's working, we just have to wait. Okay. It's just taking its sweet ass time. Let's go ahead and end our day. It's about to end anyhow. And... Anton, stay guard. Bruno, stay guard. Katya, you're gonna go out. We didn't have any meds, so there's no point going back to the garage until I get those meds. We are going to go to... St. Mary's didn't really have anything. Uh, small apartment building is dangerous. Want to go somewhere that isn't too dangerous. Don't want to go back to the hospital, or the hotel, rather. That was just sad. Uh, possible trade, some ingredients, parts, huge amounts of weapons, huge amounts of materials, some food. Uh, military outpost is dangerous. That does not surprise me. Ooh, so many dangerous places to go. You know, let's go to Central Square. And leave the shovel for the boys at home. Oh, that's right. The central square is where the sniper is. I remember this. And the first playthrough has taught us that if we save this guy, he may be in our debt. Well, if that guy's there, actually. Looks like there's not a sniper this time, though. Things have changed in the central square. A lot of, uh, a lot of people just hanging out. Looks like there's a trader here. What do you got to trade, pal? Looks like a, uh, beat up vest. Ooh. Okay. A guitar. I wonder if we can uh, trade some stuff for this guitar. Then we can play some music for everybody. But I don't have enough stuff. Maybe on the way back. Okay. Okay, let's just keep on running. A lot of trade here. Okay, this place is very different than the last time we were here, the last time we played through. And, and there are people in here. Let's see if they're hostile. Oh, shit, the door's locked. There isn't a goddamn thing we can do here at the moment. Well, this kind of sucks. Okay, let's see what else these people have to trade. Some canned food. Now, in my experience, probably not going to be willing to part with some canned food. Maybe one can of food? Nope, not even one can. Okay. What about you, friend? Okay, medicine. What if I take a medicine? These people all drive an extremely hard bargain. Okay. Well, shit, there's nothing left for me to do in this damn town square. But trade. This is kind of a bust. Gotta be honest. Okay, can you at least just give me a cigarette? A cigarette for Bruno. Thank you. Okay. At least we got a cigarette for Bruno tonight, okay? Wasn't a complete bust. Maybe that will put a smile on his face. And if so... Whoops, that's not the button we wanted. It'll all have been worth it. Okay. Here's to hoping we had a calm night. Put the stuff found in good use. Fine, the stuff you found, you mean the boards and the cigarette. <clears throat> Katya, let's see. Someone tried to rob us. They really meant business, but we managed to fend them off. We had some weapons, but... Not enough for everyone. None of us was wounded. Okay, good. None of us was wounded. That's very good. Okay, Katya is the only one who's very hungry, so Katya gets first dibs on the food. Go get that canned food, girl. You earned it. Let's put Anton to bed. And Bruno. Actually, no, Anton, you're not going to go to bed yet. Bruno, you're going to go to bed. Anton, you're going to see what we can't build, man. Actually, before you do that, how about checking out the still? We're going to need some booze to keep us happy. Katya, go get some sleep. Once you're rested up, we'll go ahead and let Anton go to bed. Okay, looks like we can make 
some booze. Let's make it. And we'll make some more fuel and make some more booze. So booze, I hear, is great for trading, and I think that it'll help for our spirits, too. We'll uh, kind of drink away our, uh, our problems. Because that's what healthy people do. Let's make some more fuel. Yeah, we got plenty of wood. Let's make another five fuel to be on the safe side. And just rest up. So we've got Anton and Katya still sad, but it looks like they're managing it. We are pretty much out of food, which means that our next scavenging mission, we need to find food. Gotta make a crowbar, some other weapons for these, these folks. Oh, those children are back again. They're gonna ask for that food and we don't have it. I am sorry, children. Katya, go deliver the bad news to these kids. Tell them how you ate their food. Hello again. We're hungry. Again. Oh. I can't help you. I'm sorry to say that. God damn it, you make me feel like a miserable person. What do you want from me? When was the last time I smoked? Well, go out the smoke, man. I traded for a cigarette. Katya is depressed because she had to give the bad news to those children. God damn it. Okay, let's go ahead and build another makeshift weapon. Build one more. Look at that alcohol, man. Make some more of that stuff, too. That's liquid gold. Okay, we're gonna make how many? Gonna make two. Making that booze. Send Ant on to bed after this. Go to bed, man. You've earned a good night's day sleep okay while that is brewing let's make another filter so we can get some more water 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 everywhere so let's all have a drink uh, looks like Katya needs another talking to before we put that filter in Bruno why don't you go talk to her and let her know that everything is gonna be okay she's awake Let's talk. Real talk. You're gonna be okay. Look at those children. They were probably really bad people. You know, they probably would have taken that food and traded it for guns or something. Or you know, maybe they would have made bombs out of it. Who knows? They, those children, they, they didn't look right. They looked sketchy to me, all right? This is not your fault. You deserved that food more than they did. Because you're an adult, and you're bigger than they are. So, buck up, kiddo. It'll all be okay. Alright, good pep talk. Good pep talk. And now, we go and we get some water. Is she still depressed? Yeah, she's still depressed. Shake it off, girl. Okay, now we've got two boozes. Two boozes. Make the water. Go get the two boozes. It will end. By the 30th day, it will end. Go get you some booze, girl. Go drink away your problems. And you, my good friend, go turn on that radio. And you should probably have a cigarette. Hey, everybody's awake. Let's end the day. You are going to guard, and you will scavenge, and you will guard. And food run tonight, okay? Lots of food. Is there any place that has huge amounts of food? 
Um, huge amounts of food right there. But there is danger. Okay. Uh, you know, we are going to have to start taking risks sooner or later, but you know what? Not today. I'm not feeling that risky. Uh, huge amounts of food. Danger. Lots of food. Danger. Uh, you know, it looks like everywhere that's got huge amounts of food is dangerous, so... God damn it. Looks like we're just gonna have to take a risk. Okay. We're just gonna be very, very careful. Okay? So what we're gonna do, we're gonna be very careful. Okay, this is the part where the shots were coming from. I better be careful. Oh, God, okay. Quiet. Someone's upstairs. He's scavenging across the courtyard. Hey, that person's going upstairs. Okay. Somebody's right there. We can be nice and quiet. Very careful. Grab everything. Okay, we're gonna try not to steal if we don't have to. Okay, we're going downstairs. I don't want to trap us downstairs. I don't want to put us in danger. So... Let's just check this pile and get back upstairs. Okay, we found one plank. That doesn't do us a lot of good. Who's dead? I'm not dead. Don't hide. Who are you talking to? God damn it, I hope they're not talking to me. We cannot lose another person. Bit windy tonight. Okay, there's somebody back there. We need to hide. Get in there. Get in there. Okay. She's just having a little smoke. That's all. Just one pill and I'm going back. These people seem like drug addicts. And if television stopped me, one thing and one thing only is you cannot trust a drug addict. We've all seen Breaking Bad. We know the deal. These old pictures got all dusty. Oh god, this guy's gonna get some air. I gotta get out of here. Okay, tonight was a bust. Yay! We bring back no food. Alright! Hooray for us! Outbreak of crime? No! Things are gonna get harder from here. Okay, we've got the booze to trade, and it was a calm night. Let's just keep making that booze, man. Making that money. Making that booze. You know, let's have an Anton talk to her. Maybe having the guy who's also sad talk to her is a bad idea or something. Okay, you're slightly sick. That's that's not good. I'm gonna have to keep an eye on that. Go make that booze, man. We gotta make that money. Hey, Katya. Sorry to bother you. Alright, how much booze? Looks like we can make... Nope, we can't make any more booze. We're low on sugar. But how much booze do we have? We got three boozes. Alright, that's a start. That's a start. That's none of your business. Talk some sense to her. I didn't mean to offend you. But you mustn't give up. That's true. That is true. You must not give up. Don't tell me what I must or I mustn't do. Oh, she's getting defensive. Quit it. We have to help each other survive. Stop the eavesdropping and go to bed for now. It's bedtime for you, man. All right, it looks like they've talked about all they can talk. So I'm just gonna let Anton maybe talk a little sense to her. Hopefully Franco will show up here in uh, the next 20 minutes. There's my man. Anton, go to bed and let Katya trade. All right, it looks like uh, Katya's depression has just turned to sadness. And that's a good thing. So let's trade some booze to this man. 
What will you give me for three boozes? Will you give me two cans? Yes, you will. Do you have any meds? You don't. You have sugar, though. Need sugar to make more booze. Um, what else can I trade to you? Um, how about some electrical parts? I haven't really needed those yet. Uh, and a bit more sugar. There we go. We can make three boozes with that. Uh, looks like he, the offer of yours is just too damn impressive, so he'll probably let me take a little bit more. So, take a smoke for my man. Take some meatses. And take a bandage. Okay, and he's driving a hard bargain. How about a couple log picks? All right, what else can I use to sweeten the pot? One book? Um, one of those? One more book? God damn it, come on, man. This guy, he's just driving such a hard bargain. How about some herbs? There, deal. I love it. We got some food now. Go get some food from the kitchen, Bruno. And Katya, you gotta make some more booze. You're on booze detail. Looks like we can make one booze because we need more water and more fuel. No, we have enough water, we just need more fuel. That's an easy thing to fix. Down you go. We're gonna create one uh, filter and then we'll create some fuel as well. Also, I'm going to create a knife since crime has increased in the city. We're going to need a knife. Okay, we need some fuel there. We're going to make two fuels to make two boozes. All right, go put that filter in first, and then you'll make the booze. We'll call it a day, and we'll go on our last scavenging mission for this episode. There you go, make it. She's gonna need some sleep too. Very good. Get that booze started. Franco, you can go away now. My business is done. We have nothing else to do. Wait, what am I missing? Oh, that fucking fuel. Why did I not just make fuel? I thought, oh, god damn it. What the hell happened to my fuel? I got his horn. I just made three pieces of fuel. I did. Why is, the, why is it saying that I don't have fuel? Or am I just reading this wrong? Let's see. Uh, oh, because I need more water. I'm a little slow. Well, one's better than none. And there we go. Katya, your turn to sleep now, dear. Go get you some sleep. See if we can make a knife. Anton, that's all on you, man. We can't, because we need... Three more components, two more components. All right, that's fine. We'll find those components for sure tonight. Let's end it. Okay. And guard, guard. We're gonna go to the ruined villa. We're gonna take a crowbar and we're gonna scavenge. Okay, we need food. It's not an absolute dire necessity, but it sure would help at this point. It can be very dangerous. Deserters are not disciplined soldiers. Okay, so it sounds like we're going to have deserters in here. At the first sign of danger, we will hightail it. Okay, I don't know how to get up. Okay, we need to go up, it looks like. Let's take it nice and easy, Katya. Tiptoe, tiptoe. All right, we're hiding. I don't see any footprints yet. 
Wait, there we go. Somebody's coming. Where are they going? Downstairs, okay. Okay. So far we've got one man there. Oh shit, shit, shit. He called me a cunt. That was just mean. Go, Katya, go. Go, 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 go. Jump, jump. Run to the exit, run to the exit. Oh, man. Oh, God, that was close. We didn't get anything, but we are still alive. Good God. That was harrowing. You know what? Looks like we're going to be really relying on trade here, you guys. Really relying on trade. Katya is limping. Hopefully this is just her being tired. Okay. Exhausted, she sits down. 